Welcome everyone to the Peanut Gamers channel. This week we have a very different game from what you've seen before. From brutal gameplay to betrayal and espionage, I bring you the ship murder party. The ship murder party is revolved around a peaceful cruise ship. Little did you know that a masked man has trapped all the people in order to play a really sick game of his. Since a fake report has been given out to the public that the ship has been lost, there is no real escape from it except winning the game. The game's rules are simple. Kill the target that has been given to you and don't get killed by the person that has you as the target. The game has a pretty linear story and is self-explanatory, but the gameplay on the other hand is pretty much what the game boasts about. You control a random character each time you you start the game or respond and you try to accomplish your goal using any means necessary. In fact, the game actually rewards you for doing kills with objects that are not as lethal as other ones, like an umbrella. Speaking of rewards, each time you kill, you get points based on a random generated list of weapons that you can find laying around the ship. The higher the weapon you're using to kill is in the hierarchy, the bigger the score you will be awarded with it. Stealth in this game functions very differently from others. Since you are in a ship, there is a little chance that your hunter won't know where you are. Not to mention there is something like a tracker thingy, so your best call is to disguise as somebody else. Using clothes you find on closets and whatnot, or even your victim's clothes can make some really neat escapes. On top of everything, you have to take care of your character's needs, just like the Sims series. So not only you must not get killed and constantly have to keep moving, but you also have to, um, let's say, sleep for, from time to time because you will suffer from a wide variety of symptoms which won't help you at all with your goals. A great problem that I have found in this game is that there are little to no players playing at online servers, so my advice is grab it with some friends and make a LAN party. Anyways, this game is great and has a really neat touch to it, but it has a desperate need for more attention, so I would recommend wait for a sale, then get it at lower price. This is Smooth Lemon, signing out. Mm -hmm.